Hello! I'm sorry about the hair, but uh, it's a very beautiful day, and we don't get very many of them, so I'm usually not prepared, and my body gets very, very sweaty. Although this isn't sweat, this is water to keep me cool. So as you may or may not know, I recently graduated from high school. Look at that, they even spelled my name right. And I also recently turned 18 years old. But what I'm trying to say is that the night of graduation, we had a big party where all the seniors got together and we just had a whole bunch of fun. Towards the end of the night, we got onto a boat and we started riding around. And there was a magician there ready to show us a bunch of magic tricks. I'm not going to say the guy's name. Let's just say that going to school with me, these kids had seen better. Now, he did a great job, but a lot of people were giving me looks from across the room. Come on, you can show this guy up. And I felt a little awkward. I wasn't quite sure what to do or say because you can't just go up to someone and say, I can do better. So instead of letting these people kind of just rudely um, stare at this guy and give him blank faces, when his set was at a pause, I stood up and I said, if anyone would like to come with me, I will do a quick show upstairs. And by the time I got to the top deck of the boat, I realized that I had nothing with me. At the beginning of the night, they took my wallet, my deck of cards, and my keys, and my phone, and everything. So I couldn't do any magic. But there's one thing that I can do that doesn't require any props. So I spent the rest of the night hypnotizing all the people that would let me. And before I knew it, it was time to get off the boat, and it was 5 o'clock in the morning, and we had to go home. But luckily, some people were filming, so they actually got a little bit of the show. Now the full show was about an hour long, and I can't show it all here because it wasn't being recorded the whole time. But I do have a bit that I think you guys are really going to enjoy, including part where I made two men think that they were in love and they almost kissed. I stopped them before they could fully embarrass themselves. But regardless, we had a lot of fun that night, and I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Alright, check it out.
I'm gonna snap my fingers in a second, and you're gonna wake up here, man. This is the dopest party you've ever been to. No climbing on chairs, all clothes must stay on. But you are going to dance like you've never danced before. No one's watching. Three, two, one, wide awake. Oh, 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 this is. Hey. You are going to realize that someone has made an accident, and you do not know who it is. You're going to try to figure out that it's the person I'm touching now. In three, two, one, one way. <laughs> oh my god, who was that? I don't know. In 3, 2, 1, everyone realizes it was you who made the accent. Go. <laughs> everyone sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. You will not fall, you will fall deep in sleep, sleep, sleep. I'm going to snap my fingers. You are going to realize that this is your fashion show. And everyone here has come to see you strut yourself. In 3, 2, 1, wide awake. Hey! 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 Everyone sleep, 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 sleep. The last person I talked to, I'm touching now. You are still deeply in love with the person that you saw. But you know that he does not love you back. In 3, 2, 1, wide awake, everyone, wide awake, wide awake. How are you guys doing tonight?
all the chance to state your case why you should not be penalized. First, so state your name and so tell us why you should not be penalized. Thank <laughs> you. 